Hi and welcome to our final of six videos regarding the index laws. This one dealing with fractional indices. 6 to the power half is a fraction obviously for the index itself. Now what it means basically is we've got a square root of 6. So 6 to the power half is the same thing as saying the square root of 6. We can extend that a little bit and say if we've got something to the power quarter, in this case it's x, can be rewritten as the fourth root of this of x. Notice here that the denominator actually comes across and sits itself in front to tell us which root it is. In this case it's a fourth root. The numerator of our indice comes across here and parks itself there. Typically we don't show it if it's an index of 1, but it's there all the same. So back to our first example, we're looking at the square root, so the denominator being the squared, of 6 to the power 1. Our final example is this one, where we've got 32 to the power 3 on 5. So keeping the same process, the, new, sorry, the denominator comes out as the root, so the 5 comes over as the, the root outside the radical sign, and the 3 goes with the 32, so it goes with the base within it. Now for most problems that should be sufficient. However, if we, if we look a bit further at this one, you might actually recognise that three, oh, sorry, 32 could also be written as 2 to the power 5. That is 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. And we're raising that to the power 3 fifths. Now, our third index law says if we've got one power and we're multiplying it by another, we times those two powers together. So we're actually ha having 5 times 3 fifths as our indice. Now that will simplify to 15 on 3, oh, sorry, 15 on 5, or simply 2 to the power of 3. Now 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. So we can actually go through and simplify using alternative index laws sometimes to achieve the same result as what we had up here. If you actually put this expression into your calculator and pressed equals, you should get 8 as your result. Okay, thanks for listening.